Hi, I'm Pete Scargill and this is Linux in full Technicolor. I've been uh, raised using Windows. I've been using Windows since it first came out. I never really liked the command line interface, but now I find myself having to use Linux or Linux command line interface a lot. I do stuff with ESP8266s and home control, and I use a lot of command line utilities on the likes of Raspberry Pi, and in this case, a friendly arm uh, Neo two board and basically i like color i don't like this horrible old black and white interface so here's what i've been doing nothing new here but you may not be familiar with it there is a program which colors the output which normally goes to the screen so let me give you an example There it is, as you can see, quite uh, functional, but boring. I'll say at this point, we're assuming that, that you've installed a program called CCZE, but I'm going to go through that in a minute because uh, there's a way of automating that for you. So if we take the same command again, but this time pipe it, and that's that vertical symbol, to CCZE uh, with the flag, just to change the format slightly, and hit enter as you can see you get the pretty version instead so what I've done here is I have made some simple functions using functions and aliases and I'll explain those in a minute to allow me to do things like this let's take um, a command called ifconfig which normally tells you about networks This one's in color. Now, I didn't change the name of the program. It just comes up in color. How did I do that? What about DIR, which is normally in black and white? Well, it's now in color. And I have an even better one than that. Um, this involves a change of name. Um, I don't know about you, but I always end up typing sudo apt-get update and sudo apt-get upgrade. How about that? And there you go. Reduce that down to four keystrokes. This is down to um, just simple uh, functions. I'll show you how to do bash functions. Okay, so I'm going to bring another screen across here. Uh, the only reason I used Windows Live Writer for this was I just happened to have it open at the time. So um, we have three commands the DIR command, the IF config, and my upgrade command. I'm going to explain those separately. So let's look right at the start here at this first command. Now you could copy and paste that from my blog, run it in the terminal, and for the rest of that terminal session, you'd have a DIR that's in color. Or you could put that text into your etc. slash bash dot bash rc file. Just add it in the end and then open up a terminal. And from there on, you have these commands permanently and i'm sure if you like this once 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 i explain what i've done you can just go off and do this with any commands you like so let's have a look at this first one dir so a function here it is stretched out a bit a function is as you might expect in any other language the name of the uh, function is dir but because there is already a dir i've called it underscore dir uh, you open curly braces for the function, put a semicolon at the end. And inside that function, what we have is an if statement. But this is just an abbreviated version of an if statement. So this bit in blue says, if the command ccze does not exist, install it. That's what that line does. Uh, there's no overhead, it's a virtually instant, so why not have that check-in rather than having you install CCZE separately? So the first, the very first time you use this function, it would install CCZE. Uh, from there on, it would have no effect. 
And then we have the command dir dollars at sign piped to ccze minus a. Now I showed you the minus a before. If you don't put that in, you can get some strange effects with some commands. But basically what you're doing is you're taking the output of the dir command and you are piping it into ccze. What's that dollars at about? Well, you may have some parameters after dir. And basically what that says is, yes, well, add any parameters in. So you might be dir of a subfolder. Um, so that gives you a new command called underscore dir. If you just run that, it comes back to the prompt and you now have a new command. But I don't want to have to remember another command. So I've used something else in uh, Linux called alias. And that says, well, okay, dir will actually call the function underscore dir. Now you may be wondering why I've got a backslash there. Well, I don't know if you're familiar with functions, but if you have a function that calls of its, its own name, it will disappear up its own backside. So the backslash just simply ensures that you call the original dir to do the actual listing. So the top version of this is exactly the same as the bottom version. I've just brought it into one line just to, um, you know, save wasting space. Um, there are two more. I have config, if you look carefully, is exactly the same, but we're just talking about I have config. In the case of sudo app get upgrade and update, you can't do that the same because it's not a one word command. So what we've done there is we've just, we've not done the alias and we've simply made a function called up gr. I mean, you can call it anything you like. You could call it upgrade. Well, upgrade's probably not a good idea, but upgrade, up gr, uh, up gr. To do a sudo app get update and upgrade totals around 40 characters, something that you may do quite a lot and that just reduces it considerably, makes it easier. But again, the first thing we do is look to see if CCSE is there and if not, we install it. I've then chosen to add a little header, echo updating and echo upgrading. You could leave that out, put it in, change it, do what you want. So between those three examples, I think you can see that most commands uh, in Linux can be prettied up. I hope you enjoyed that and have fun.